It's uh, one of probably the last blue sky weekends and I am fixing the this patch over here sanding fairing priming painting repeat a couple times probably we'll see it depends I really only have this weekend to do it because otherwise it's gonna start raining and then these as well so all of this this here that here back there and right there <clears throat> Those are all the four points of support that take our frame for our hard dodger and goes up around about here. And then we have pieces of canvas that come up here. And then from about this point of the boat, the hard dodger ends and then the bimini goes back here. So all super important stuff for uh, winter. Keep the rain and snow off, and then we can take down this, this tarp that we've been living with. So that is the primary goal for this weekend. No guarantees that it's gonna be perfect or 100% done. Uh, we're just trying to get it up before the rain starts, but today it's just so beautiful out today. So let's use the weather while we've got it. All right, hard dodger update. <sighs> Didn't happen. It's right there. It's in a better state than it was when the weekend started, but um, as you can tell, it's not on. All right, so now trusty tarp is gonna go back over the cockpit and then that project is on the to-do list for another day. Days, sunny days, dry days. Yeah, that's the way it goes. I'm all winter right where all of this patio furniture is, was our hard dodger. But right now, it's just sitting in place, but we're gonna get it installed. All right guys, look at Spring has sprung. Summer is on its way. <clears throat> it's very nice. Look at our flowers. Hanging pots, flowers. Oh, look at our lettuce. Look at this lettuce. And those are tomatoes. This guy is Bambi the bamboo. We're just taking him for now. He's gonna go up on shore. It was a, uh, a dock mate's planter that's really large and heavy, so we don't. We don't feel comfortable keeping it on the dock. But anyway, so because the nice weather's here, we can continue our Dodger, hard Dodger project. So <clears throat> we have just set the Dodger in place. It is tied in here with these rails to the, the hard windshield. But the idea that I need to do is where we patched holes back there last summer, here and over in here, <clears throat> the goal is to, oh, Jesus. Bugs come with springtime too. <gasps> Get out of here, gross. Okay, so, right. so where we patched holes with epoxy, I had also gotten to the point where I did um, fairing compound, but now we need to sand it and prime it, probably sand and paint, and then sand and paint again. 
because last summer we just ran out of good weather to uh, to do that project. So once I get the the painting done, then we can drill holes again for our feet. Right now we have the feet wrapped up in these towels because we didn't want marking up the the gel coat. So the idea would be uh, first get the surface prepped, get it. Uh, smooth and painted and looking good and then we can go back and drill our final holes and install those properly and there goes another bug a bee wasp but anyway that's where we're at so right now what I've done is I've got to take off these two supports and scoot the whole thing back so I can have enough room to work on the holes. But if I scoot it all the way back, it's gonna fall. So what I've done, I've taken the main halyard here, fastened it to our actual handle. Right now it's not a handle because these things aren't secure. Um, so when I scoot this back, I'll have support from the main halyard and I can do, a one, do this as a one person job. So first things first, I'm gonna uh, unhook up here, unhook up here, and then scoot it back and I'll give you guys an update. Success, check it out. Halyard running from the top of the mast down to our grab handle here. And once we get this fully installed uh, and secure, this will truly be a good grab handle. But right now, marked it, no handle to, to be safe. But check it out, it's holding the back half of our dodger. So see how that foot is raised up off the combing? And then same with this foot over here. So these feet will normally be right here, but because we need to sand, prime, and paint, I needed to get that foot out of the way. Same with over here. So this foot usually would go right here, but I need to sand, prime, and paint in this area as well. And so what we did was it's a nice little convenient spot. So this foot just scooted back and it's wrapped in this towel to keep things from scratching our gel coat. It just tucked right nicely right in there. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and the same thing over here. It's tucked right in. You can see the metal, that's the metal foot that will eventually get bolted down. Uh, but I think that worked out really good. And it was just a one person job and now I can work on the, the prep for the, the painting over here. So far so good. Hey y'all, we got the, the primer down. It's time to call it a night, I think. Got an early start for the morning tomorrow. Well, let's take a look at what we did. So, primer, 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 and Want to see another dirty little secret too? You weird. We're about marine grade here on Yara, and this is our forever boat. We actually, before we even bought this boat, we knew the boat that we were gonna buy would be our forever boat. So we need things to last forever. Well, forever and boat years and saltwater years. But check it out. Rust-Oleum marine coatings. We've got a primer and a paint. And this this oyster white actually matches our boat pretty darn good. So I just laid down the primer and let that dry. Um, and then we'll, if the weather's good, we'll do the 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 paint tomorrow. But I wanted to show you guys the 
is pretty good. Like, this was Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot, right? Selling marine coatings from Rust-Oleum. I was skeptical. You know, we're not talking about fisheries, Defender. No. Home Depot. But that down here. See those four screws? Holes? There used to be one exactly like that right there. So, my first fiberglass work on Yara was repairing those four screw holes, and I used that Rust Oleum paint. Hold new. It's what we call a pitching wedge. It's good from about 60 yards. <laughs> It looks good from a distance, which is really, but it's keeping the water out and it's held up pretty nice and the color actually matches the, the rest of the boat pretty well. So tonight the goal is done and we will let this dry and then there are some places where I got to sand. And so check this out, like I kind of left. It's a little thick, you can see it in some of the brush strokes in there. So I do need to sand that um, before I lay on the paint, but it's going pretty good. So we will clean up, pack up, and call it a night, and eat some dinner. Right. So here we are in the cockpit, and we are working on installing the hard dodger and fingers crossed we can actually make it happen. Matt's gonna Tell walk me. us through. So as Devin said, what we gotta do is try to get this thing installed. This tarp is in the way for right now, so the first step is to move the tarp out of the way and then we're gonna take the whole dodger, slide it in place without any additional feet. And I'll show you feet here in a second. We're just gonna put it in place and see if the canvas fits because there's canvas that runs from this zipper down to the front of our hard windshield here that snaps in place. So the problem that we had last year was I got the canvas on the Dodger, but it was like this too far too high above the actual windshield. <laughs> but I was also using the feet. So we had these old feet that were cracked, crumbling, falling apart. And Devin went to a machine shop and made these, had them make these new feet. When the feet were with the Dodger, that spacing, I believe, made it so our canvas didn't fit. So the first thing we're gonna try today is put it on, put the canvas on without the feet. See if it works. All right, so first things first. Look. Removing of tarps. No, first things first, try not to fall in the water while we're standing up here removing tarps. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're not gonna fall in the water. <laughs> then, then we remove tarps. <laughs> I feel like after living on the water for so long and not falling in the water. Who are you talking about? You, you haven't fallen in the water. Oh, I haven't fallen in the water. Who has fallen in the water? Everybody else on this <laughs> boat. <laughs> canvas was the troublemaker last time. So what we're going to do is slide this canvas in and see if we can get it to fit. <clears throat> so right now
now it's just set in place. Done. Let's see if our canvas lines up. Yeah, it does not. How far off is it? A good inch and a half. Oh, yeah. So that this button should be should going clip into there, and this one in there. Yeah, so that's the that's the problem with that's what I ran into last summer. So clearly. This actually is a little too high because it's not even touching. Mm -hmm. So I could go release the halyard for that. That one is touching. Let me go release the halyard a bit. So they're both touching? See if that helps. Okay, I'll tell you when to stop. Yeah, all four feet are touching at this point. So now it's about getting the right tilt oh, for it to match. So my thought is, what if we had the lifters up in these guys? To tilt it back. To tilt it back, because see how the yeah. extra space is at the I back end of that? So the lifters, what Devin's talking about is we just bought this air lift tool. So the idea is you stick it under the thing you want to lift and then you use this little hand pump to lift whatever you want to lift. And it has a 300 pound capacity. So this will be more than enough. And we got one for each corner. So let's see how that works. So let's, let's put those in. Okay, so tell us what's going on. Starting from scratch. So we called Hayden Island Canvas, <laughs> the emergency canvas number. They're gonna be here in 20 minutes to get us new canvas in about three hours. It's almost like, you know, drop off your photos and pick them up in an hour. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. It's not happening. We talked about it. A girl can dream. <laughs> <laughs> but we are starting over from the beginning. So what we were thinking is, because our canvas wasn't lining up correctly, we were thinking, well, okay, how does this whole thing come together? And it starts with these bolts coming through. So our thought was, well, maybe our bolt holes aren't correct. And so we found over here that, look at this bolt hole here. It's not even anywhere near the hole on the actual frame itself. It's like off. So the idea is, let's get our bolts and holes lined up, and then that's gonna help us, uh, hopefully help us get our canvas lined up. So what we're doing here is trying to get the hardware frame bolted on the hard dodger because we figure hopefully if we can get that all set up then maybe the canvas will fit it's a wild goose chase we'll see right now you can see matt is just trying to remove the canvas behind me that's a whole thing and we're just really like pulling out our hair, trying to figure out why it doesn't line up. It's like if we get, we can't get everything to just line up right. And we might give up, but we'll see. We're gonna keep, keep pushing through. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. How you feeling, babe? Discouraged. Right? Tell me about it. <laughs> well, 
at one point, this whole dodger and canvas system was on the boat. We took it off to have the boat truck down to Portland. And so now that it's not going back together, it's really frustrating. Yeah. Because it, we took it off, so it should go back together, but it's not. And I'm sure it's but tonight we just gotta get it back together so we can eat and go to bed. Um, I'm at that point. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Just temporary back together. Temporary back so together. So it's not like flapping in the wind. Yeah. So temporary back together and then we will uh, be able to eat and go to bed. Since it's been a really wet couple of days since we've and we haven't come back to the hard dodger yet that is safely secure in place and i'm moving on to a project of putting in a solar watering system for our plants that are on the dock um, so that it'll bring water from the river and water these plants please remember to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode